Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Thursday morning. I hope you have been blessed with good sleep and let's pray together and be thankful as we begin our morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have planned for us in this day. Father, we ask that we can go into this day with confidence and trust in you. Father, we give this day to you and we give this time now to you. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon and from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, <coughs> and I have called you in righteousness. This morning I'm going to read from the lectionary reading for the Church of England. We're reading from, <coughs> excuse me, we're reading from Luke chapter 5. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came along who was covered in leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you were willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, said Jesus, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Yet the, new, the news about him spread all the more, so that crowds of people came to him to be healed of their sickness. But Jesus often withdrew to a lonely place and prayed. One day Jesus was teaching and the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were sitting there. They'd come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralysed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up to the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles in the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking and he asked, why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or get up and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralysed man, I tell you, 
get up, take your mat and go home. Immediately he stood up in front of them, took what he'd been lying on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And there's a challenge for us to see remarkable things of God today. Sometimes we need to look. We need to be in that frame of mind that we are searching out God and looking for his beauty and his creation to worship him, to love him, to experience that amazing joy of that great artist that created this world. We have seen remarkable things today. Let's hope we get to the end of this day after we've done Compline tonight and think we've seen remarkable things today. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. You promised, O oh God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us. Let's turn now to God in our prayers. Heavenly Father, we come to you today. Some in joy, some in fear, some in sadness, some in grieving. And Father, I pray for someone that I know who has recently lost their mum. And she's not very well herself. And she can't be comforted by her children because of the present circumstances. Father, I pray that you will be her comfort. that she will feel you, feel you above, below and all around her. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will be with each person today who will be passing from this world to the next. Father, we pray that they will rest in peace and that they will rise in glory. Father, 
And Father, we pray for ourselves. For all that is going on in our lives. And Father, we know that sometimes it's hard to pray for ourselves because we always think that somebody else is worse off than us. And we know that's possibly true. But you care about all things that go on in our lives. So Father, we offer ourselves to you this morning. Knowing that you care, that you are here, that you touch our hearts and our minds with your precious love. Oh God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us from your servants, defend us your servants from all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Heavenly Father taught us, Let's say the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your na thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And before I pray the blessing at the end, I'd like to read the words of another prayer. Circle me, Lord. Keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep hope within. Keep doubt without. Circle me, Lord. Keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep peace within and evil out. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this morning. Please do come along at half six this evening and join me again for Compline. Please stay safe today. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And God bless you.